today we're going to be talking about dendrochronology. Behind the trail is at the Natural History Museum to see the beauty behind me, a 1,335 year old tree, of course a part of it. When a tree fails, time stops and the chronological cross section looks like this. Dendrochronology helps archaeologists understand the climate of the past and how the humans interacted with it. If researchers know when the tree was felled, then they're able to count backwards from the outer rings inwards to work out how old the tree is. It's a more stable and an absolute dating technique. Trees grow vertically and horizontally every year. The thickness of the ring can tell us climatic changes. If there was more precipitation, if there is a year that there is not as much rainfall, the tree will not grow as much. This is all caught within the rings. That's how we can tell the seasons as well. All of wow. this is hidden within the tree. Science is awesome. So if it's in an archaeological context, it's a little bit different when it comes to dating. So we can tell you when the tree was cut down, but not when it was buried. That's when carbon dating comes into effect. Um, one thing to note is, of course, it has been conserved, which is why you have this beautiful gloss on it. So now it looks like it will stand time for visitors in the future. That's one behind the trail minute. See you tomorrow.